Hi everyone, I'm Ye Sung Shin and I'm from Seed Studio. Today I'm very honored and happy to meet you all and to present a brief overview of what Seed Studio does and how we can help promote the SDGs together. So I am, um, I am Ye Sung and I'm working as a sustainability and CSR manager at Seed Studio and Taiho X Factory. And Taiho X Factory is a makerspace that is run by the Seed Studio. Um, interestingly, I'm not from a technical background, but I'm from, um, so I'm, I'm from the social scientist perspective from social work, law, sustainable human development, public policy for the SDGs. And I'm a firm believer of bottom-up and decentralized innovations and supporter of the UN's sustainable development goals. So first off, let me briefly talk about what Seed Studio is. Um, Seed Studio is a private company located headquartered in Shenzhen in China. And Seed Studio manufacture IoT hardware and open hardware pro um, um, products that can be customized according to the needs of the, the customers or the projects. So at the moment, we serve more than 480,000 global customers in 180 countries. And so far, we've completed more than 150,000 complete prototyping projects, not to mention um, we've successfully scaled up some of the prototypes, more than 180 prototypes to become industrialized products. And we are, it, this has become possible because of the, our business partners who are more than 200 in all of the world. And we've got branch offices in the US and Japan for, for reference. So what's the corporate business model of Seed Studio? As you can see in this white box, we are, um, we, um, Seed Studio is proficient in three types of, um, um, of fields. First one is open hardware manufacturing. Second one is R&D assistance and products and services, um, including verification and testings and stops. And third one is IoT equipment that is easily speaking sensors, wireless AIoT sensors, gateways, edge servers, and other hardware devices. So yeah. And another important characteristic of Seed Studio is agile manufacturing from zero to the infinity, as you can see, where prototyping becomes very um, quick um, and, and scale up, it becomes possible at a global level. And how is this done is that we share um, Shenzhen's technological ecosystem and supply chains, that is um, the IT um, hardware capital of China. And at, that has been added to our Seed Studio's professional quality and engineering infrastructure. So what's uh, Seed Studio's interest in the UN's sustainable development goals? As you probably know, one of the most important mottos of SDGs is leave no one behind, which focuses on the holistic implementation and inclusion of every types of stakeholders and vulnerable communities in the achievement of the sustainable development um, development in the world. Whereas C Studios um, vision is to empower everyone to achieve their digital transformation goals, since everyone includes um, people from coming from technical backgrounds, also non-technical backgrounds to learn about technologies to achieve their own goals, whether it's SDGs or for fun or for meaningful purposes in their local communities. Now, why Seed Studio is interested in this kind of SDGs and bottom-up innovation, open source innovation, open tech innovation, and so on. It's because Seed Studio is a company that has been rising up or born from the open source community itself, actually. And that's why I've, um, I'm sharing the three documentaries they, that are visible and, and available on YouTube that you can see. And I would like to share with you one of the videos about Maker Faire. Maker Faire is one of the world's biggest maker gatherings in the world. And you might be wondering what, what does the maker mean? Now you'll, you'll learn from this video.
Okay, thank you so much for listening to the to the Maker Fair Shenzhen video. And now I guess you've got a brief idea of what a maker can be. A maker can be an engineer, technologist, conservationist, or an Indian person or UN person um, who are able to make something. Either it's uh, like um, some kind of solutions or prototypes, also like some kind of food and stuffs. So, um, so for second. Secondly, let's uh, talk about Seed Studios products to give you a brief idea of, of what it looks like. Now, as you can see, the first series is one of the most um, prevalently used open source and ready to use tool set, which is called Growth Product Series. Now in the Growth Products, we have a lot of different types of AIoT sensors that are wireless that can be used to make all types of open tech um, prototypes. Um, individual projects or or can do the research projects. In, it includes environmental sensors as well as um, heartbeat sensors or or um, emotion sensors, AI vision camera, um, and sunlight sensors, CO two level, and so on. Second tool is a wire terminal. It's an easy to use IoT starter kit. This is wire terminal, this screen over here. And this will inspire people from non-technical backgrounds to also learn about what machine learning is, which is called Tiny ML. And one of the interesting projects that, um, that was highlighted recently is AI knows to distinguish different types of alcohols. Now imagine this for open science community that can be used for distinguishing different types of, um, of other liquids or other types of um, objects and so on for the research purposes. The application is huge. So I've been talking about tiny ML a little bit by now and you might be wondering what it is. Tiny ML is stands for tiny machine learning, which is a broadly defined um, term as a fast growing field of machine learning technologies and applications, including hardware algorithms and software that are capable of performing on device sensor data analytics at extremely low power, typically in the MW range and below, and hence enabling a variety of always on applications. So you can learn more about it, about science, um, science open science for tiny ML through this free workshop that C Studio sponsored working with ICTP and Harvard Engineering School. Now, what I'm going to introduce is the SenseCap LoRaWAN product series, which is an environmental, environment, um, environmental sensing applications for different types of purposes, ranging from smart ag um, agriculture to meteorological monitoring, smart cities, and um, smart husbandry regions. So IIoT products stands for industrial IoT applications. That means you can use it for business or you can use it for um, verified purposes that are bigger than just prototypes as solutions. Yeah. So now I, I, I was talking about Sanscape LoRaWAN product lines and you might be wondering what LoRaWAN is. Easily speaking, LoRaWAN is a low power wide area networking protocol built on top of the LoRa radio modulation technique. It wirelessly connects devices to the internet and manages communication between end node devices and network gateways. And LoRaWAN shares many of the strengths of 5G while it's being very cheaper uh, a, a lot cheaper than the 5G, offering long range cost efficiency and low battery consumption. Now, as you can see from the slide, LoRaWAN is deployed in more than 157 countries so far. And um, considering that 5G is too, um, too, too expensive for most of the countries, including developed or developing countries, LoRaWAN is a rising star in the open tech community at the moment. Now, another products that we have are called Re Rethings series, which are more of the more professional hardwares designed for def different types of edge computing devices. And a lot of supercomputers, microcontrollers, modules, extension boards for, for tech savvy people. 
Now, I'm going to talk about SEED's SDG case studies, uh, which are widely deployed in the areas of smart agriculture, smart cities, smart environmental monitoring, smart animal farming, wildlife biodiversity, environmental conservation, meteorological monitoring, steam education, and aquaponics. So first off, one of the most important um, activity that we are promoting at the moment from Seed Studio is an open online, open online contest on Hexer.io. And Hexer.io is one of the world's one of the world's biggest open tech project repository where people will share all the recipes of their software, hardware, and, and different types of guidelines on how they made their own projects. And their projects are, are, are there, there are hundreds and thousands of them, which are about the SDGs or so for fun or hobby projects. Also scientific projects, there are a lot. So the purpose of um, organizing IoT into the wild contest for a sustainable planet from seed side is to identify and scale up the ex already existing prototypes and solutions by the technologists, engineers, um, academia, UN people, also um, the makers community itself. So we are focusing on the five biggest real world challenges to tackle. First one is climate crisis prevention and mitigation. Second one is wildlife and biodiversity cons conservation. Third one is about marine conservation. Fourth is about open science tools, just like open fluxure that you might be familiar with. And uh, fifth, sustainable agriculture. So as you can see from this slide, we've had we've uh, joined hands and joined forces from the open tech community that are proficient in AI and IoT technologies, including Microsoft, Nova Labs, Helium, Edge Impulse, and also joining hands with Fab City Initiatives. Um, um, and some of the NGOs and foundations that are working on environment conservation. Yeah, so I would like to encourage all the GOSH community members to take a look at this contest by, by um, scanning the QR code over here to learn more about the contest and to participate to and to apply for the free hardware that you can see over here that we are providing to learn the LoRaWAN technology and AIoT. So similarly, we've um, started this IoT into the Wild Fellowship since this April, which is about multi-stakeholder platform to gather different types of multi-stakeholders from different realms and regions and, and domains to come together to harness, harness, harness the emerging technologies as AIoT and edge computing tools for the betterment of the environment and for saving the world. And another interesting um, event that we are organizing is called SDG Summer School. It's an annual event that has been um, organized by the University of Geneva together with Tsinghua University in China. Um, and this year we've joined hands with Université Paris Cité and Learning Planet Institute to give chances to the high school students, university students, um, PhD students, all semesters degree students to learn what our SDGs, what the SDGs are and how they can make solutions or solve the world's um, um, concurrent global challenges by using their different types of backgrounds and knowledge and skills. So it's still, it's happening right now in Taiho X Factory. And this is, um, this is one of the place that we are doing the project works. Now, another case on the smart agriculture, we have a lot of cases on smart agriculture where we deploy sandscape sensors, as you can see here, gateway, and then different types of environmental parameters to measure the best environment for specific crops. You know, different crops may need different types of moisture, water levels, um, CO2 level, fertilizer um, needs, and so on, right? So together with Microsoft and DJI, we've created farm bits that you can Google together and learn more about the AIoT technology and smart farming for free. Now, another case on smart agriculture is um, the 
is deploying these sense cap weather stations that can measure CO2 levels, wind speed, wind direction, soil, uh, moisture level, and the like to see what's the best environment for the rice crops. And then it, um, it raised um, climate commodity crops in rural China with the revitalization of rural tourism. Another case is about durian farming in, in Malaysia. So one of the biggest companies in, in, in durian farming in Malaysia, they used SenseCap sensors, as you can see here, to figure out the optimal environment of durians because apparently they're very sensitive to different types of environmental variables. So in this way, they can save natural resources and also less use the, the minimize the usage of pesticides that are the, the root of the whole environmental pollutions. And similar story in Dingzhou, China, where they tried the local farmers were trying to use these um, sensors and AI analytics to see what's affecting the growth of the crops, including triticales. Another project on IoT, project T, like the drinking tea, added with the IoT sensors. So this was an interesting one because they were branded as the IoT project. Now, another different industry that can apply AIoT is smart animal husbandry or livestock farming. Um, as you know, different types of animals may have different types of mortality variables, which affect the, the health of their um, growth. So SenseCap was de deployed to measure the air quality, the soil quality, or the like the, the urine quality of those animals and see what's the, and how to reduce those um, cost sensitive environmental attributes and uncontrollable, uncontrollable variables. Another interesting story on farming is about smart greenhouse. Now I'm located in Southern China, as you can see in this map where the region is subtropical regions where it's, it's all around, it's so hot and humid, right? And in Northern China, it's frigid weather patterns with snows, whereas it doesn't snow in, in Southern China. And in Northern China, they wanted to, um, they wanted to harvest some of the tropical fruits. Now, it's unimaginable to, to harvest, to plant and harvest um, mangoes in, in frigid north, right? But it became possible with SenseCap products and in a greenhouse where the northern, northern Chinese cities were successful in, in raising the, the, the tropical fruits, such as the mangoes or wax apples, leeches, and so on. So this is just an interesting project, but you think about the immense, immense possibilities that this can bring to, to solve the world's hunger issues, not affected by the climate in, in which country it is or in which region it is, but within the greenhouse with, with aquaponics, hydroponics and sandscap, it becomes possible to raise the crops. Similar project in the Netherlands on the tomato farming, Another project in, in melon cultivation for higher yields with the least amount of water and other resources. Now, another interesting case is about STEAM education. So for years, Seed Studio has been sponsoring different types of hardwares, including SenseCap and Grove open source, um, open source hardwares for STEAM educators in the US, Australia, DRC, Liberia, Kenya, Haiti, Malawi, Nigeria, India, and so on, um, to, to let the STEAM educators to give, provide this kind of technology and scientific learning and hand-on learning for children to, to, to learn about the future skills and to learn about computer science in, in early ages. Now, another interesting STEAM education project was in collaboration with Stanford University where Seed Studio helped manufacture the open source hap haptics kit. Um, now, you might be wondering what is haptics? Maybe some of you will know since you're coming from the scientific backgrounds. Haptics is the science of uh, touch 
the vibration and stuff. When, if you wear the VR glasses, a whole new world will be opened. But imagine if you touch the bird in the, in the VR scene, you can actually feel the warmth of the bird or the vibration of the, of the bird chirping sound. So that's, that kind of feeling is called haptics. And um, it became available because um, Stanford and Sit Studio have together manufactured this kind of uh, open source hap kit that everybody can learn about this haptic technology. Another inclusive education project is about making coding and programming easy and easy to follow and learn for the children with uh, visual, um, visioning, vis visual and hearing difficulties by using the sense of touch. Now you see this kind of electrical cords these are, this can be easily modified by touching. And so the, the children who cannot see, they can learn about the computing and, and coding and AIoT and stuff. Um, another industrial case is sustainable logistics. Um, if you deploy different types of Senscape sensors, for instance, like this ones in the storages or cold chains, it will be able to learn, um, it will be able to analyze what kind of environment is best for securing specific types of goods, such as medicines or, or um, food products. And then another interesting case on smart city application is the smart citizen kit, which we've um, worked with European Commission, Fab Lab Barcelona, IAAC on, on manufacturing this kit where people can measure the noise pollution or environmental parameters, CO2 level and so on. And now um, this um, citizen science uh, project has become worldwide um, successful. And you can check it out by searching this um, project name on Google. Um, another interesting, very interesting project is a maker project, uh, which was made by Cesar Zhang Harada, who is the founder of Maker Bay, located in, in Hong Kong. He's a French Japanese person who made a robotic ship to collect oil, which was inspired from the oil spill in the, in the, in the ocean space. And a similar project that is about environmental monitoring to figure out where the plastic waste are coming from in the Bay of Hong Kong. And they try to, they realize that most of the trashes are coming from the mainland and on the, the, the land that, we, that are inhabited by the people. So trying to map out where the ocean, ocean plastics and trashes are coming from. Yeah, so that's another interesting scientific um, application. So C Studio has done these types of um, events, maker events and partner events and business events related to how to use open tech hardwares and AI and IoT and edge computing to solve the world's, world's variety of challenges, right? Yeah, okay. You can go through my slides later and yeah. And um, finally, how to work with Seed Studio on potential SDG acceleration is to stra strategically engage Seed Studio as your technological partner and as SDG advocate. Second, openly create meaningful, pragmatic, and innovative SDG solutions with local communities. Third, smartly scale up the solutions globally by co-organizing hackathons, workshops, webinars, and other types of meaningful events. Fourth, proactively promote the solutions with multi-stakeholders by merging each other's social and professional networks, as well as different types of resource sets for rapid deployment and increased visibility, as well as the acceleration of the, the 2030 agenda of the SDGs. And time's kicking, right? We have less than nine years to achieve the SDGs. So we have nothing to lose. So. Please sustainably help build a bottom-up tech ecosystem in every country by working with State Studio. 
thank you so much. Feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or or the, um or send me an email if you are having some kind of interesting SDG related um, things happening with you. And feel free to deep dive into IoT into the wild product lines for wildlife and environmental conservation. Thank you so much. That's all for today.